we do variety of activities in our day to day life like running jumping clapping swimming crawling physical exercises and many more living beings are able to change their position the ability of an organism to change its position by moving different body parts is called movement human body is made up of different bones of different sizes and shapes these bones join to each other and form a framework called skeleton or skeletal system which helps in bringing about movements skeleton not only helps in movement but also protect internal delicate organs like heart lungs brain and so on as we all know bones are hard and rigid and can't be bent so the question is how these movements are even possible a body is consists of 206 bones these are of different shapes and sizes these bones are connected to each other at some points these points are called joint joint is a place or site where two or more bones join together joints allow movement in some particular fashion there are different types of joints in our body which help us to do different movements and activities joints are broadly classified into four categories ball and socket joint pivotal joint hinge joint and fixed joint make a small ball with play doh or you can take an old rubber or plastic ball push a paper cylinder into the ball and keep it in a small bowl now try to rotate the ball you will find that it rotates freely in the bowl now imagine this paper cylinder is your arm and the ball is its end and the bowl is the part of the shoulder to which this bone is connected in this joint the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of another bone This type of joint is called ball and socket joint and it allows movement in all directions for example shoulder joint and hip joint Pivotal joint is also called rotatory joint it is a freely movable joint that allows only rotatory movement around a single axis the joint where our neck joins the head is a pivotal joint it allows us to bend our head forward backward and turn the head to our right and left you must have seen hinges on the door they allow the door to move back and forth only this type of movement you can observe in your elbow Our elbow has hinge joint which allows movement in back and forth direction only. For example, elbow joint and knee joint. Some joints between bones in our head are different from those we have discussed so far. The bones cannot move at these joints. Such joints are called fixed joints. We can move the lower jaw away from the head but that is not the case with the upper jaw There is a joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head which is a fixed joint 